this one's an amazing story, right? So um, in the United States, in many states in America, uh, you know, uh, uh, squatters can enter a, a vacated home. And if they're not, I think, if, if they're not evacuated from there in 30 days, they gain squatter rights. And basically, it's almost impossible to get rid of them. It's almost impossible to legally get them out. In uh, New York City, a fed up homeowner was arrested uh, after squatters basically took over a million dollar home that she inherited from her parents. Uh, and they changed the door, changed the locks, and it was their home now. And she went there and she tried to change the locks and she was arrested. Squatters weren't. She was arrested. You have to go through this legal process of trying to get the squatters out that can take months, years, cost you a fortune. And in trying to get people using force against your own property, violating property rights without any, you know, clear cut, unequivocal, you are somehow the problem. You are the bad, bad guy. Right? You are the bad guy. Uh, it's pretty stunning. Yeah. Pretty stunning. Uh, and uh, so this was in New York City, right? But you have the same thing in Washington State, in Oregon, and a bunch of places down the country. Uh, in, um, in Bellevue, in Washington, uh, there is a serial... This is kind of, this is kind of interesting. There is a serial squatter, a serial squatter named Sang Kim. He moves from house to house. I, I'm, I'm getting this from the free press. Which uh, each squat, uh, taking so long to reserve... Uh, he's got free housing, basically. Uh, when his uh, recent victim tried to get back into the property he owned, sent him complaint to the cops, and the cops arrested the landlord. He was issued a restraining order from going within 1,000 feet of his property and the squatter. I mean, you find a vacant house, it's yours or at least it's yours for a long period of time, while the legal system churns through to try to get you out of there. Now, all this comes from a legal theory that basically says, this is leftist legal theory, comes out of Yale, probably, right? Property ownership is violence, and as a society, we should do everything we can to make it hell for property owners. And that's what we're trying to do, trying to make it almost impossible for property owners to defend their property, trying to make it almost impossible for property owners to prevent people from stealing their property, from using their property without permission. And this is all a consequence of kind of a, a Marxist or neo-Marxist view that all property is theft. You've probably heard that. The, the, the leftist yell this at every opportunity. All property is theft, so therefore let's steal it back. This is America. This is the country that was built on the principle of individual rights and, and among those, you know, property rights. Of all our rights, the right to life, the application of that right is, is property. It's the ability to use and maintain and sustain and you the things that you own. And the United States now not allowing that, not allowing that. It, it really is stunning. It really is stunning. Um, I can't, I, I don't think this exists in other countries. M maybe I'm wrong, but I just don't, I mean, and of all the countries in the world, you'd expect, you'd expect it, you'd expect this to be outlawed here. But this is the left's dominant of the legal system, the left's dominance of law schools in spite of the Federalist Society's work. This is uh, this is what this is what happens. It's uh, it, it, it truly is disturbing. Ian Gilmo says at one point squatters were a huge problem in Germany. Um, interesting. 
Interesting. It, 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 what's interesting? What would be interesting is um, what would be interesting is if um, how the, how the Germans solved the problem. I mean, I'd, I'd be curious how that happened. Maybe Ian knows. <sighs> All right, I guess there was a, a squatting movement, and I'm sure the motto was, um, it was, uh, you know, property is theft, private property is theft. 